so he cannot go crazy. I mean, I won't go anywhere, pretty much any any river card. Uh, nothing bad can happen. Um, that's like one of the worst cards in the deck. Um, don't want to bet too big, but uh, we can actually jam. Today I have a special piece of content for you guys. I know this format already exists, uh, but I was thinking why not doing it online, play and explain from two different point of views. I'm going to be playing heads up today against Stefan Sontheimer, aka Gusko, one of the best cash game players in the world currently. Uh, and yeah, really looking forward. I mean, he has certainly an edge with his uh, cash game background, uh, but heads up is always a bit messy, always a bit chaotic, ranges are very wide. Really look, I uh, really enjoy playing heads up and see how I'm able to think the spots through. And also a big shout out here to Natural Aid who were able to uh, provide us with a private game on, on Natural Aid where we're able to um, yeah, fight against each other. Uh, initially, I just thought we're gonna be um, doing the, the game on whatever, whatever poker side we, we think it, uh, it's the most suitable. But then I realized neither on Poker Stars nor on Party Poker and other poker sites we were able to set up a heads up game uh, because anonymous tables or you, you can't really select the tables you want to play so you jump into the pool which I'm a big proponent of however it kind of it kind of takes you opportunity away to do these kind of formats so Natural Aid jumped in and they said yeah if you want to um, do this kind of thing then you can do it on Natural Aid and uh, yeah so thank you for setting us up with a private game and it was a lot of fun um, and yeah if you enjoy this kind of format then don't forget, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and then enjoy the action. Uh, I actually don't mind leading this board for our range. Um, getting to fold some over cards. We have the gut shot. Facing a lead on that board. Uh, I mean, first of all, I didn't know we start with anti, so um, I gotta gotta think about strategy overall and ranges. He will certainly have a lot of flushes. Like without a club, I don't want to um, now keep bluffing into an unkempt range where he's gonna have a lot of flushes, a lot of five x. Don't want to go too crazy without not equity, and I'm going to check that one back potentially bluff rivers or most likely bluff rivers. I think we can go for um, a large bluff, trying to get him off a four, a six, a seven. Um, I think five X flushes would very likely be betting. And it's also really hard for me to have bluffs here on this. Uh, but of course I want to represent that um, I, um, that I bluffed a, a five or uh, maybe a flush that went for, wants to check raise the turn and now yeah, but we could still be good on the river. But also if he has something like king 10 with the king and clubs and now he blasts the river, we have to fold. We might be either the, really the trash hands, three dues off, seven dues off. I'm just going to fold. So actually we're starting 200 bigs deep. No, 100 bigs. Yeah. Okay, comfort zone. I'm going to check. Uh, it's actually a good board for our range, but since he, um, we're also gonna have like a lot of crap hands, ace highs, um, and the nine doesn't have the best kicker. So I think we can just comfortably check it back here. Checking back on that turn, I use multiple sizings. Um, definitely have an over bet. Could expect a lot of overbetting from his side here, uh, or these larger bets, of course. That's an interesting river. And on that river card, that's a pretty good card for me. Does he have weaker top? I, he's not gonna bet that big with 7-5 or 7-4. I should have clearly more 6-8 and 10-8, so I'm definitely sizing up. If he bets small, I'm certainly going to raise for value. If he bets big, yeah, uh, now we have an easy call. 
do we want to race? Nah, that would be an overplay. Too many straights are possible. Yeah, that's just a cooler. And reverse setup, which is obviously nice. <laughs> just. I need to play a high C bet frequency here on that board. Um, I mean, my queen high does have shot on value. I would check that the diamond would check some queen jack highs here. And uh, king five, we're not gonna. Even though, like, if I have a back door, uh, then I would certainly peer. I'll stick to the 2.5x for now. As um, soon as we get a little shallower stacks, I guess I will adjust. Um, deuce three five is actually not too bad. My hand can check. I can bet. Um, I'd like to take the equity hand always and, and bet a little more often. Uh, small bet. I like multiple bet sizes can be fine. I'll I'll use that small one here. Not necessarily good board for us. Against a very, very tiny bet with a backdoor flush draw, but I think the I wanna have at least like Jack 10 type of hands here. Just too little equity even against this bluffs. Oh, you must think I'm a total nit, <laughs> so folding so many hands. But yeah, nine five off, I would be pip. Uh, queen six suited could be an interesting race. Uh, three bet, I think. Um, queen four, queen five, queen six suited, jack six. Like these type of hands are fine to three bet. We get him to fold. Queen seven offs, queen eight offs. I want to throw stuff as well. How does the smiley thing here? All right. So we face that three bet. Um. I mean, for 100 bigs, that would be on the small side. Um, like I'm really not an expert for like shallower stacks these days. This is a clear call though. Um, flopping a top pair is obviously nice. Um, always ready to stack that off for 60, 70 bigs. Um, yeah. Let's see, he should use like big sizings and check raises on that board as well. Um, yeah, he's using big size, um, which I mean, is first of all, I often have lots of broadways that have a tough time now, uh, but at the same time, I can react easily, right? He sometimes has it, sometimes he has the bluff, but I have a top here and I'm just calling here. Uh, now I added flushes, and um, yeah, that nine is a really, really good card for me. Um, I think I'm checking back that jack 10, having the 10 of clubs just makes it a little easier. Um, but checking back a lot here. Checking back flushes as well with SPR one left. So he cannot go crazy. I mean, I won't go anywhere, pretty much any any river card. Uh, nothing bad can happen. Um, that's like one of the worst cards in the deck, but still. Yeah, I think he has a lot of 9 8, 7 8. Um, don't want to bet too big, but uh, we can actually jam. I mean, he could check back flushes. It's just like. I'm going to have so many check folds. I think he could check back flushes. And the king, we do have king queens, ace kings, uh, king eights that we three bet preflop. What could we bluff? Yeah, I think queen six is fine. Um, yeah, I expected that. That's like really thin. With like random kings, he needs a strong one or like a trap on the turn. Um, but... Yeah, I think I should call that one off here. Um, we have just so many worse hands. Got to call that one. If he has it, he has it. But ah, nice call. Nice call. Yeah, even tanks with this hand. Uh, congratulations, you have reached the money, not for me. All right, how can we? Rebuy here. 